Hi everyone, the Gazette has a new name. It's now called Nostalgia USA, and each month it's getting better. A real entertainment experience. And within each issue, there will be special pricing on selected OldTimeRadioDVD.com collections, only available to our subscribers of the Nostalgia USA. Take advantage today by subscribing at OldTimeRadioDVD.com. Nostalgia USA, special pricing. What a combination. Go to Old Time Radio. DVD.com today. You'll be glad you did. Let's now join our featured presentation. The Green Hornet. He hunts the biggest of all games, public enemies that even the G-men cannot reach. The Green Hornet. His faithful valet, Cato, Britt Reed, daring young publisher, matches wits with the underworld, risking his life that criminals and racketeers within the law may feel its weight by the sting of the Green Hornet. Ride with Britt Reed as he races toward another thrilling adventure. The Green Hornet strikes again. Anything can happen in a big city. Anything. For example, it was a busy corner right in front of the Daily Sentinel. The man's hair was mussed. His collar open. He needed a shave. I saw. I saw. There was a meadow and a tree. The moon's out. The moon. Wait a minute, Mr. Reed. I just had lunch. I didn't see you. It wasn't your fault, Mr. Case. He bumped into you. Well, don't just stand there, mister. Move along. You see it? It's up there. That's the moon. What? The moon. That's the meadow tree. There were shadows. Shadows under the moon. There's the moon. Well, mister, it's broad daylight. It's dark. Just the moon. There's the meadow. There's the tree. Never drink so early in the day. It's very bad. How should he feel again? Tree. The meadow. Moon. Just shadows. The moon. Come on, this case. We've got to get back to work. If you're crossing that street, you better do it now, mister. The light's green. The moon. Meadow. Poor guy. That sounds almost like double talk. Moon on the meadow. Uh, doesn't seem to know where he's going. Are we? Now, wait a moment. I want to see you to get... Mr. Reed! It's got a setting straight for him! Look out! Mr. Reed, are you all right? Snap out of it, fella. You almost got That's killed. The moon on the mirror. The car went right through the light. Oh, I wish I'd gotten that number. You get that car, lady. Come on now, break it up, boys. Break it up. Come on, there's no point in standing right in the center of the street. Are you sure you're not hurt? No, he's perfectly okay. I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about you. Good grief when you ran right in front of that car. I... Well, you sound as if I were important. Well, you are. You're... I mean, after all, you're my boss, and I... I like my job. What else could a girl mean? Remind me to take that up with you later. I will. Right now, that sleepwalker needs attention. That car, Mr. Yes, and of all the careless drivers going right through a light. Shadows under the tree. The the moon. There's the moon. He's just had too much to drink, Mr. Reed. 
Let him wander. He'll get home. Yeah, I suppose we might as well. After all, what happens to him? This case. What is it? This man hasn't been drinking. He's in a daze. I thought they went together. No, I'm not kidding. Look at my hand. Pain. I thought that car didn't hit you. It didn't. It missed us both. Well, then how did you Look get that? Look at the back of this man's head. He was slugged. There was a small cut there. I never noticed. Neither did I. I must have touched it when I pulled him away from the path of that car. Are you all right? The meadow. The tree. Your name. What's your name? The moon. The moon. Shadows behind the tree. You hear that? He doesn't even know his name. Yeah. Call an ambulance, Miss Case. This man's going to the hospital. Run it off, Cato. Please yes, communicate with... Is that this man you and Miss Case take to hospital, Mr. Brick? Yes, early this afternoon. Apparently, he still has amnesia. Traumatic amnesia. Please, what is that? It's loss of memory due to a blow on the head. The man was robbed, too. His wallet was gone. No marks of identification. I see. Hold the victim, yes? Oh, forget about it, Cato. It isn't important. There's no way to tell, Mr. Brick. In my native Philippine, we have saying... Huh? It is easier to drown in little waves... Than big one. <laughs> Meaning what? Meaning, please, one must not dismiss something as not important for that same well, thing. That same thing may hit you when you're not looking, is that it? If you please, Mr. Britt, nothing too small. Okay, okay. Well, only I hope that poor chap gets back his memory. Yes, sir. Must have some relatives that... Hey, Harry, Cato, open up! Mr. Axford, yes? Hey, he sounds excited. Open up, I... Oh, Reed, I'm glad you're home. Too excited to remember your key, Axford? Reed, I ain't got time for nothing. Come on along. I got the car down oh, I'm not going out. Oh, golly, yes, you are. It's a newspaper business. It's a scoop for the central. Oh, Axford, Please, I'm... Axford, please, you go away. Mr. Britt, yes, don't keep your nose out of this. Moran's downstairs, Sergeant Moran. He's waiting to take us to the scene of the crime. It was Hazelton. Hazelton? You mean that's the name of the man in the hospital? So for the snacks, Reed, are you batty? Who cares about that guy? Hazelton. Hazelton, the head of the state police department. Captain Hazelton, did he catch someone? The other way around, Reed. Someone caught him with a bullet in the back. He's been murdered. There ain't a thing been touched, Mr. Reed. It's just the way it was when we found it, including the body. Poor Hazelton. Most likely he never knew who shot him. There's a moon, but he got it from the back. What about these footprints, Sergeant? Uh, we made plastic ass of them, Mr. Reed. A uh, lot of good that's going to do. How do you know it is the same fellow who done the murder? Who else could it be? It ain't Hazelton. That's the wagon, Moran? Yeah, from the morgue, Mr. Reed. He told you the Sentinel would get the story exclusive. So for the snakes, there ain't no reporters but us. Was well, Captain Hazelton working on any special case that you know of, Sergeant? Well, we talked to the state police. They said they didn't know nothing, but they checked his private belongings to make sure. Well, that's us standing here. Come on, Axford, we've got a story to turn in. Yeah, Reed. Yeah, I'll come along with you. I, uh, I don't like staying out here. Oh, fine you. cop you are. Well, I can't do nothing from now, can I? Save it. Here comes the wagon. Yeah, I'll tell you about the... Holy crow, who's that? Sergeant, that woman, she's standing beside Hazelton's body. Hey, hey, you stop! She's running. Stop her, She's going into the bushes. You can't shoot. No, Moran, you can't Hey, see. hey, lady! There's a cloud over the moon. Oh, did anyone get a good look at her? She disappeared too fast. Uh, she's got to be around someplace. Ah, uh, save your strength, Sergeant. You're wasting time. Yeah, it sure looks that way, Mr. Reed. Oh, I can see this murder is going to be plenty tough. I wish we could hang around, Sergeant, but you know how it is. Yeah, we got a story for the Sentinel, and it's got to get there in time. If I get anything new, I'll call the newspaper. Oh, thanks. Besides the story, I'm getting up early tomorrow, so good night, Moran, and pleasant dreams. And be sure to let us know if you solve the case. <laughs> Publisher's office. No, Mr. Reed isn't in yet, but it shouldn't be long. Yes, call back, please. Hello, Casey. Is Reed in yet this morning? Not yet, Axford. Oh. You haven't got anything new, have you? You mean about Captain Hazelton's murder, Casey? Well, no. I was thinking of that poor fellow in the hospital. Oh, him. Golly, I can't be bothered with small stuff like that, Casey. I'm handed a murder assignment. Okay, big shot. So you turned in a scoop. Holy crow, I sure did. There wasn't another paper carried the murder yarn in the first edition like the Sentinel. 
Naturally, I ain't interested in some am... Amnesia. Am, am, amnesia. Yeah, in some amnesia victim. All right, I'll ask you. Is there anything new on the Hazelton murder? Yep, there sure is. Moran phoned and gave it to me for the afternoon edition. I was just telling Dunnigan about it. You make it sound important. It is. That woman who screamed wasn't located? No, but it's better than that. Casey, the police got a letter. No. I got one myself this morning. It was a note from the Green Harness. I'm not interested in notes about... Who? Who did you say? Suffering snakes. Do I got to repeat myself? The Green Harness. The Green Harness. What's he got to do with that murder? Casey, that's what the police are asking themselves right this minute. The note told the cops they'd never learn who done it. But why should the harlot send a note unless he done it himself? If you ask me, he's trying to lull their suspicions. Are you crazy? By sending a letter? Sure, by claiming they'd never learn. To a smart fellow like me, all that means is that the harlot is getting worried they'll find him. Why, a child wouldn't be that dumb. Oh, is that so? It'd make the police try all the harder to find the murderer. You mean the harlot wants him to? Of course, otherwise he'd keep his mouth shut and sell. Oh, I give up. You're just plain dumb. No, listen, you typewriter to see I ain't Morning, got a... Morning, Mr. Reed. Hello, Action. Morning, Mr. Reed. Oh, Reed, did you hear about the Green Hearted note? Oh, yes, Action, I just spoke to Gunnigan. That's all the news, isn't it? Golly, ain't it enough? I hope the police get busy. Apparently, the Hornet wants them to. You mean because he sent that note? Of course. Oh, yeah. That, that's just what I was... Uh, I was telling Casey here. That's my theory, too. Uh-huh. Have you been to the hospital, Mr. Reed? No, no, I haven't. Well, I just wondered. That poor fellow, he might... Publisher's office. Casey. Hey, Casey. Is the boss there? Hold it. Mr. Reed, it's Lowry, and he sounds like a page one yarn. What? Hello. Hello, Lowry. Where are you? Boss, grab your hat and come running. I'm at the hospital. The hospital? Anything wrong? That's what I want to know. Either this guy with amnesia was leading a double life, or somebody's pulling a fast one. Well, I don't get it, Lowry. What do you mean by a double life? The guy's gone, boss. His wife called for him. His wife called for him? Well, that's fine. No, sure, Rolly. There's another dame here. She claims she's his wife. How do you like that? Well, you stay there, Lowry. I'm coming right over. <laughs> I knew him from the description number of the radio. He's been missing since the night before last night. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, take it easy, Mrs. Mrs. Braley, if you are Mrs. Braley. If my husband had been in his right mind, he'd have known soon enough I'm Mrs. Braley. Who was that other woman? Oh, it's crazy. The whole thing's not. Why did they let her take him away? Well, she knew who he was. She had positive proof. What does that mean? Lady, I'm in the dark, too. My boss is coming over, and Sergeant Moran of the police force is in that room now, checking up. Just relax. Something may have happened to him. I'm so frightened, I... Sister, I want to talk to you. Are these your husband's shoes? Well, well yes. Shoes. For Pete's sake, Moran, what's that got to do with it? When he with? left, he wore slippers. Guess he's still hazy, huh? Well, what about it? But that ain't the point. I recognize these shoes. See? These are the shoes that made the prints in that meadow where Hazelton was murdered. Oh, no. Yes. Moran. Holy mackerel, you mean Braley? Th- this guy with amnesia, he committed that murder? Yeah, and that ain't all. Lady, did you leave these cigarettes beside the hospital bed? Cigarettes? Why, no. Perhaps that other woman did. Oh, is that so? Smell these cigarettes, Lowry. They smell funny, Moran. They got a bitter almond smell. Yeah, bitter almonds. Cyanide, that's what it is. Poison. These cigarettes are poison. Now, who's trying to poison that guy? Poison? Oh, no. No, he can't Lady, lady, stop that. You're hysterical. Moran, who is this woman? Oh, hello, Mr. Reed. Don't ask me nothing. My head's going around in circles already. Don't you recollect that scream? This woman could be the one who... You mean Mrs. Braley? Braley, huh? All right, Mrs. Braley, out with it. You're the woman who stood over Hazelton's body last night, aren't you? My husband said he was going for a walk. I went through the park to look for him. I was walking along and I saw... Please, where is my husband? What's happened to him? Oh, can we print this? What a mystery. Did Braley murder Hazelton and why? Who tried to poison Braley? Who's the other woman who spirited Braley away from here? Of course, you can print it, Lowry. Get a phone, put it on page one. And Moran, your police department better find Braley before it's too late, before some... Before... Before... Oh, we got some water. She's fainted.
Now to continue our story. The threads of murder and mystery became hopelessly tangled when Braley's wife went to the hospital and found her husband gone. Even while the Daily Sentinel was rolling off the presses and selling in the streets, Britt Reed's office at the Daily Sentinel was a beehive of speculation and activity. Miss Case, get that one. I'll take this. Yes, sir. Hello. Hello? No, no, Gunnigan. Play it up the same way. Okay. The police department, Mr. Reed. Yes, slap that mystery angle big on page one. Use a streamer headline. You got anything from Axe? Okay. Max was working on the Green Hornet angle, Miss Casey. He hasn't got a thing. They got to find him. Boss, hey, boss. Well, what is it, Lowry? Give. I just left Mrs. Braley at the hospital. She's a real Mrs. Braley? Yeah, all Penny Casey. She even had the marriage license, which makes the other woman a pony. We guessed that before this. That isn't hot news. Boss, I was talking to one of the nurses. This Braley guy did some talking while he was being cared for. Yeah, Miss Casey, and I heard him. He kept saying, moon on the meadow, shadows under the tree. We know now that he must have been talking about Hazelton's murder. Sure, but he said more than that at the hospital. He mentioned names. Names? What names? Hold on. Here they are. Creevy. Zeppelin, Dykus, Podowski, and Sharkson. How do you like them apples, boss? Gangster. Every one. The nurse said he kept repeating those names over and over. I told the police. They're checking on those crooks? Yeah, busy right now. You think Braley might have been taken out of the hospital by one of them? It's beginning to look that way, Miss Case. That woman who poses his wife must have been a stooge. Well, that's a novel way to get a murderer out of a hospital. You've got to admit that. We don't know he did the murder. Oh, Casey, what else is there? Hey, to... wait a minute, wait a minute. Remember those poison cigarettes? Perhaps Braley didn't commit that murder. Perhaps he'd been a witness to the murder. That would explain why they'd want him out of that hospital. Good grief. You mean they're trying to kill him? Yeah. Why not? If he's a witness to a murder, why not? I guess we'll never know till we find him, huh? Killer or with the switch? Get the police. Give him that angle. They're checking now. Hello. Hello, get the police. Well, I'll talk to them. We need action, and I'm going to get it. <laughs> Hello. Is that you? Oh, yes, Axford. Any news at the Sentinel? They ain't found Brady yet. Those gangsters have been questioned? They say they're as innocent as newborn babes, all of them. I tell you, Reed, it's the green hound. It must be the hound. Uh, never mind, Axford. I said never mind. I'm busy. Give your information to the city desk. I, uh, I have a date. Well, Cato, you've been gone a long time. I, I hurry fast, Mr. Blitz. You missed Axford. No, nothing. The police are up a tree. Oh. So it's up to the Green Hornet to solve this mystery. You checked up on Sharks and Dykus, Podowski, and the others? Oh, yes, Mr. Brick. Cato, one of those five is involved in some way. One of those five spirited Braley out of that hospital. Yes, sir. But perhaps one of five have already killed Mr. Braley. Oh, no, you forget that. After I got those names from Lowry, I sent them Green Hornet notes, saying they'd be wiser to keep him alive. I suggested to each that I had a scheme to use him to advantage. Yes, sir, that's true. You think that one who is involved will wait until you contact him? I'm gambling on those rats being greedy. I've gambled right, Braley is still alive. If I've been wrong, well, let's not think of that. I understand. But which one of the five? That's the problem. Mr. Blitz, I think it's uh, Prodoski. What? Yes, sir. If you please. You mentioned one time car that almost ran over this Braley. Well, we couldn't locate it, Kato. We couldn't catch the license number. Car similar to one you described is owned by Prodoski. Kato. Yes, sir. It's a dark green with light green upper part. I think... Save it. That's plenty, Cato. Got the green hornet mask and the gas weapon. Yeah, in the car. Okay, open the sliding panel. We're going out in the black duty. Britt Reed and his valet, Cato, stepped through a secret panel in the rear of the clothes press. Then along a narrow passage built within the wall itself. A passage that led directly to the adjoining building. Seen from the street, this building looked deserted, abandoned. No one could guess that it served as the hiding place for the sleek, super-powered Black Beauty, streamlined car of the Green Hornet. Here, mask and gun, Mr. Perry. I'll take that mask now, Kato. Yes, sir. I shall drive. No, I'll drive. Make sure that gas weapon is loaded. We're calling on Prodowski. For Braley's sake, I hope we're on the right track. <laughs> Very close now, Mr. Briggs. Radowski. Around this corner. Okay, we'll use this alley. It is the uh, next residence. Oh, there's a light in that room. Yes, sir. Who's that? You see him through the window? If you please. It is Prodoski. Yeah, talking on the phone. 
You stay here, Cato. I'm going in. Now, listen. I want to talk to Sharkson, see? This is Podoski. Knife Podoski. Yeah. Okay. You get him, huh? Yeah, sure. For me, anything. Just stick around and listen while I... Hello, Sharkson. This is Knife. Wanted to ask you something, pal. Yeah, the cops was here, too. <laughs> Didn't learn nothing. Not a thing. Have I got Braley? He wants to know have I got Braley. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Sharkson. About this, have I got Braley question. I ain't saying. You know me, pal, dumb like a fox. But listen, where's this green hornet? I want to know. I got a note from the lug, and he said... What? What's that? Trouble, boss. Shut up. Yeah. Yeah, Shaxon. Okay, thanks. Well, so that's it. The hornet sent the same kind of note to Sharks. Hmm? The same note. Just that. Don't you get it? It's a fast one. The hornet's pulling the fast one. He didn't know I'm the guy that's got Braley. He didn't well, know... Well, I know it now, Prodowski. The green hornet. You fell for it. Braley's alive. Where is he? Dutch, get this guy. Don't out. move. Now, come on, Prodowski, spill it. You had one of your gun molds put on an axe so you could get Braley out. Where is he? Who are you? What's under that mask you're wearing? I have a gun, Prodowski. I might use it the way you used the gun on Hazelton. Hazelton? Shut up, Dutch. We don't know what you're talking about, pal. It was Braley put the finger on Hazelton. Yeah, sure. That's why we bumped him off. Really, is dead? You got it. That's right. Braley's a nut, see? He's crazy. He shoots Hazelton. So, just to make sure we don't get mixed up in it, we give Braley the business. You're a smooth talker, Prodowski. You know me. I can't afford to have the cops nosing too close to my business, so... So, I... you shut Braley's mouth. Right. I don't believe it. No, pal, I ain't lying One look at Dutch's face tells me it's a lie. You killed Hazelton, not Braley. Now you've got Braley someplace, and I want to know where. Arnett, you're jumping at the wrong conclusion. You're getting the... Uh, drop that gun! Miss me. Are <coughs> oh, you, Podolsky, get away from that desk. Yeah. Well, first time... Take it! You shot me. Well, three are no good, Arnett. I, I pressed the button first. See, I, I pressed the button first. <laughs> What are you talking about? What? What happened? I hear a shot. It's all right, kid. The shot missed me. There they are. Mr. Britt, we get away fast. Police here shot. They come very soon. Wait. What? Police... I said wait. Look here, kid. The button. What is that for, Mr. Britt? Rodowski pressed it before I gave him a shot of gas. That button must have been a signal to someone. A signal to kill Braley. What? And that's why we can't go. But the police... We can't go. We've got to find out where Braley is. We've got to find out before he dies. <laughs> That's for you, Moran. Oh, don't go telling me my business, Axel. Hello? Police headquarters. Who heard a gunshot? Okay, have the cop on the beat check up. I can't be bothered with some dummy shooting off a pop gun, can I, Axel? Sure not, Moran. Suffering snakes. The story the Sentinel wants is about Braley. Now, it looks Mr. to me that... David. Sergeant Moran, what's going on this time? Uh-huh. Yeah. You got a report from the car patrol on the beat. What's that? What kind of a car? I want a squad. I'll be right down. Axel of the Sentinel wants a scoop. Come on. Hold the show. What's it about? There's a car in the alley behind Podowski's joint, and from the description, it's the car of the Green Horn. Hold the crow. Why didn't you say so? Lead the way. I'm right beside you. <laughs> Then Cato hit it. Empty. Perhaps Braley not here at Captain Van House, Mr. Blitz. We've got to keep looking. We'll try the basement. It's very dangerous. Come on, we'll keep looking. Oh. 
and meadow and tree. Oh, shadow. Shadow. Hey, you and your crazy talk. Yeah. As soon as I get the gun loaded, I ain't gonna shoot you, Brady. Shoot you. You get it. Where, where is the move? That same, but that's the crazy that body. It's oh, a signal to finish you off, see? And you move. That it was your tough luck you had to wander yeah. right in on us when we shoot Hazel's on. We slug you on the yeah. noggin, but you got away. <laughs> yeah. I'm an idiot, huh? Yeah. Well, mister, you're going to have the permanence of an idiot. The move. Shadows under the tree. You, you've got a gun. <laughs> I've seen you before <laughs> with a gun. It was that night. Oh, beginning to get yeah. your memory back, huh? Yeah. Too bad it's too late. What's it? The gun? I just... I can't breathe you. Meadow. Meadow. The tree. I saw it in the moonlight. Really? I saw that man with a gun. Really? He's still not remembered. Yeah. He'll recover. He'll recover. All right. Hold it now. I got you. What? You forgot. All you did was knock me out. Use your fist and steady your gun. Well, you and your pal are going to join Braley. See, you're going to... Hey, what's that? A police siren. Now, it's... Good work, Mr. Blake. He looked other way only for one moment. You punch him hard. Same punch I used before. Now, come on, kid. we got to get out before the police get in. Police. Shadows under the moon. The meadow. I saw it. I saw it. Don't worry, Braley. You're getting better. You wear a mask. Who are you? Don't worry about a thing. The police are coming. They'll find you. They can't miss. They'll clean up this murder as soon as they get you. The moon. They shot him. In the meadow. The meadow. The tree. That siren. That must be the police. The police! Soon as Casey sitting at that typewriter, it was Brady. And Podolsky's joint looked like a tornado had hit it. Only it was the Green Hornet. You didn't get the Hornet? No, no, Casey. But Podolsky and his marble in jail. And as soon as them doctors clear up Brady's mind so he can talk... Oh, I've got it in this case. Hello, Reed speaking. Oh, Lowry. He did? Just a minute. Miss Case, call the switchboard and have a rewrite man hook in on this call. Lawrence at the hospital? Brayley's recovered his battery. Named Prodowski as Hazelton's murder. Yes, that's a rewrite. Yes, sir. Start telling your story, Larry. We'll give it a headline that'll sell more papers than all the rest combined. We want pictures, personal interviews, the work. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.